Hello friends, welcome back to QGIS Basics. In this video, today we will discuss about slope and aspect. Some of our viewers having difficulty in understanding slope and aspects. So these slope and aspects are run on DEM file that is digital elevation model. So first of us let us understand what is slope and aspect. So the, there are three components used in this. So we have to keep in mind hill shed, slope and aspect. These are the three components which we will discuss in this video. Hill shed is a technique used to visualize terrain as shaded relief, illuminating it with a hypothetical light source. Hypothetical light source means that sun reflects its light in a particular direction in which we want. Suppose we want a sun from an altitude of 45 and direction of sun is 315 degree or it's 90 degree from azimuth. While creating hill shade, we use altitude and azimuth as a light source from where light falls on a terrain so hill shade is used in making shaded relief for clear visibility of the terrain for the next we will proceed to slope slope in mountain there are slopes in all direction there are steep slopes and low slopes also there. They are north facing, west facing, south facing and east facing. Slopes can be in any direction. That can be in northeast also. Slopes is formally described by tangent plane to a point on the surface. If we are standing on a surface and we have a point on the height then if we draw a tangent to the that point that is called a slope slope is the steepness or the degree of incline of a surface hope you understand this slope is the steepness or degree of incline of a surface in Another way, the slope of a particular location is computed as the maximum rate of change of elevation between location, between that location and its surrounding. It means the change in the height of terrain between that particular location and its surrounding is called slope. Slope can be expressed either in degree or as a percentage. It can be measured in degree or percentage. There are few general standards for slope. In left side, I have terrain type. That is next column. It is contour interval. And next we have slope in degree. And after that we have relief height in meters. In plane. In plane we have contour interval of 5 and there may be there will be a slope of less than 2 degree. In plane we have generally we have less than 2 degree slope and there is an elevation of less than 80 meter. In upland more height than plane that is contour interval have 10 meters and there is a slope of 2 to 6 degree. In that particular area there is a slope of 2 to 6 degree we get a slope if you calculate the slope in that area that will be 2 to 6 degree and we have relief of relief height is there in 80 to 300 meter in hilly area we have contour interval of 20 meter they are not full hill more than upland there is a slope of 6 to 25 degree and in mountains we have contour interval of 20 to 40 meter and there is a slope of greater than 25 degree 
in next video we will do a practical about slope and uh, this aspect so you will clearly understand in that how it is calculated now come to aspect when the terrain is flat if terrain is flat there is no height there is no slope so there means this also means that there is no aspect without height or without a slope there is no aspect what means aspect means aspect is the orientation of slope measured clockwise in degree from 0 to 360 understand again aspect is the orientation of slope measured clockwise in degree from 0 to 360 where 0 is north facing 90 degrees east facing 180 degrees south facing and 270 is west facing our map direction is in north that is 0 degree on right side it's 90 degree that is the direction of slope is from east facing if we have values of slope in 90 degree that is 90 around 90 degree then we came to know that our aspect is our aspect is 90 degree then our slope is east facing there are north facing west facing south facing and east facing slopes the compass direction is the slope face is aspect so what is aspect the face slope face is called aspect in which direction the slope is facing is called aspect the aspect raster has unit in degree and range from 0 to 360 when we create aspect it generates its pixel values from 0 to 360 and range between 0 90 to 70 360 the degree value is bearing the degree value is the bearing or azimuth of the slope direction when we calculate aspects the values we get in bearing or the azimuth of slope of direction i hope you understand now you are easily get uh, what is the difference between a slope and a aspect slope is the inclination from a surface to the point and aspect is the direction of slope which is measured in degree from 0 to 360 if we turn around at a location from 0 to 360 then if we move 90 degree then it is in clockwise direction it is east moves more 90 degree then it is south more 90 degree then it is west and again 90 degree then we have to come to the same location facing north so i hope you understand the definition of slope and what is the meaning of slope so slope is the tangent from a point on surface to the plane that is if you want a height if you are standing on a plane surface and there is a point in the hill then if you draw a tangent to that place that is called a slope and aspect is the direction of slope from a location so in next video we will do a practical of this so there you will get a more wide explanation about this so hope you understand and let us move to next video thank you for watching